Hello everyone, to my returning subscribers, welcome back to Acido's Kitchen and if you are new here, you are welcome. Today I am making a vegetarian stew that we grew up eating. Have you stopped preparing potato stew because no matter what you do, you can't make it thick enough? If you answered yes, this is for you. Stick around to the end to find out how I make this stew thick without the use of cornstarch or flour. The ingredients and measurements used are listed in the description box. So without further ado, I will jump straight into the video. I have peeled and washed my potatoes Cut my onion and tomato to shorten the length of the video. I now take three potatoes which I slice thinly as shown here and set it aside. I cut the rest of the potatoes into quarters because I love my potatoes large. For the potatoes that are larger in size, I cut them into six or I cut the quarters down to have a similar size. Once the potatoes are done, I wash off the excess starch and add water to the bowl which I set aside. With all ingredients prepped, I heat three to four tablespoons of oil and add my onions until they are slightly golden. At this point, I add my tomato and saute the two together until they soften. Then I add a beef seasoning cube. To keep this strictly vegetarian, go ahead and swap the beef cube for vegetable stock cube. I add half a teaspoon of coriander powder. I add some water to prevent the onion and tomato from browning. Then I add the sliced potatoes. I now add roughly two cups of water and a teaspoon of garam masala. I mix this and cook covered until the water is reduced and the potatoes are well cooked. Once the potatoes are soft enough, I mash the potatoes to create the base of the stew. This is the secret to my thick potato stew. For a smooth finish, you can blend this, but I am happy with it as it is. I now add a tablespoon of garlic paste. I had roughly one teaspoon of tomato paste left in this jar so I added water to dissolve it and added this into the pot. Be careful with the tomato paste because too much tomato paste will give the stew a sour and tangy taste. I let it cook for a few minutes before adding the potatoes. Once I add the potatoes, I mix this, add water and cook covered for 10 minutes. After this, I add a tablespoon of vegetable stock powder and black pepper. I 
I taste the stew to ensure it is well seasoned. Then I add a teaspoon of cumin powder and salt as required. I mix this to combine and add a little water and cook covered until the potatoes are ready. This should take another 5 minutes but it all depends on the type of potatoes you use and whether you like your potatoes firm or on the softer side. My potato stew is now ready. I served this with rice and it can also be served with chapati or your favorite staple. My stew has an amazing aroma, a beautiful color and the thickness is just perfect. I remember eating this dish as a child and it was so delicious that on several instances I told my mom that she had forgotten to give me meat. I was always amazed when I realized that it had not been cooked with meat. For more recipes of this nature, subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you have any comments, questions or suggestions to make, please write them down in the comments section below. If you are still here, thanks for watching to the end. This is it for now. Bye bye.